So Jesse, how long have you been out here on the streets? Uh, I've been out here since I was about like 13 and a half years old. And how old are you now? Uh, 25 years old. And how, what, what happened for you to be on the streets so, at such a young age? Uh, my house was just torn apart, you know what I'm saying? Like there was just stuff going on that like could never be spoken upon. But it was like my brother was supposed to be the man baby, you know what I'm saying? He was supposed to be born for something good. So my mom and my dad had to do something enable for my brother to be blessed and for him to be able to be the way out that they had to ultimately bless his other second brother, which is me, Jabai Terrell Castro, would occur so holy that it meant that all that darkness that my dad and dad cast upon me was for my brother to be good and all his family would be looked out forever. That way he could go back into his house where he's from in Mexico because I'm half Paisa and I'm a half Native American, right? My dad, he's full Paisa, full. He went back there. He good right now where he's ready. You know what I'm saying? And his brother Diego, Pajo, Saul, Diego and Saul, and um, his wife and shit. Like, damn, you know? And it's like, excuse me, part of my language is some, uh, it's not fun being out here, man, because I live right here down here, 26th Avenue. 26 drive that used to be my old house but now my deal he lives in the second house to the left you hit 26 in myrtle make a right and the left one two that's uh where, where my deal says where my brother says at right now <coughs> but i'm uh like i have a hobby out here you know i have like a lot of like homegirls right they're like oh damn that's my boyfriend right there and they're like swear to god it's me and like i'm saying swear, swear they swear they're like oh my god that's my husband that's my wife and they're like oh and then like sometimes their kids would be like oh ooh, he wasn't lying but like damn with their kids i was like i know see like huh? and then it's like dang but they're just my friends and stuff so i gotta look out here so like i forever looked out for myself and i'm good but if i had to say it to any youngster out here there's no youngster out here that i know that i didn't put a, that i didn't put a good um a lesson on you know if i said to the OGs out here that were like good looking out because that's how they taught me. Even though I'm 25 years old, I, I learned from back in the day. I learned at a young age that you respect your elders and respect your elders and stuff like that. I went to fuck, I went to all the way to the penitentiary, man. Three, two, eight, zero, so four is my number. You can look me up and everything. I look ugly, I look shout out. But I fixed my life. And I'm, uh, what did you say to all the OGs? Like, yeah, like, I'm, uh, there's no kid out here that I know that's, uh, has to have a bad lesson learned because I'm on the OG out here today. You know what I'm saying? That's live stuff. Well, okay. What, that's um, all I have to say today. Anything else? What, um, there's a lot of blues consumption out here. Are, are, do you use blues as well? <laughs> yeah, I use blues as well. It's like, let's do math real quick, right, class? It's like, uh, I think uh, 11 times 9 or uh, 12 times 9 is 121, right? That's 12 times 11 is 121. 12 times 12 is 144, so it's 11 times 12, right? Yes. So if I have 11 blues, which I do sometimes, and I do smoke them, but I only smoke about half of them. And I always go to my homegirl, so then they smoke the other half plus my half, so I only have like, I probably only hit the blue. At those 11 times, I probably smoke like three blues out of those 11 pills. That takes lives. I lie like five. Mm. Six and a half at most, bro. At least no more over than seven, like bro, like boop, like ah, like bro, excuse me, like five then. No more than five a day. I can't do it. I probably smoke three to myself and uh, maybe one by myself. The rest I'm just like, let me just like. When did you get started using blues? When I got out of prison. How long have you been out of prison? Uh, it's almost been two years. I got out March 8, 2020. So it's uh, January uh, 26 right now, right? Right. Uh, 2022, so it's been two years yet. And like, for a couple months, it's gonna be a two year anniversary. Pat myself on the back that I've been going out here all paint. I've been going down hard in paint, doing it, doing it, these little ill jobs that the OGs be doing too. I'll be doing the same thing, and I still ain't going back to prison. Like, ah. And uh, do you suffer from any uh, SMI, any mental health? Nah, I don't have any SMI items like that. Like, yeah, they say I can, but I choose not to because that's just a crutch, though. So I, I used to have a job, but like now I'm just trying. I'm trying to actually find my girl. She's not my girl, but she's this girl that I'm interested in. Her name is um, uh, uh, Athena. <laughs> Her name is actually Athena. You know what I'm saying? She's a white girl, she's 32 and shit. She's pretty cool though, but I know she has some problems with her, so do I. But then um, uh, mother homegirl Hannah is like the same thing. She suffers with depression. I'm like, damn, I think that's how I feel when I'm like. I don't want to get high no more. Four days, five days straight, just sleeping, eating, shit, pissing. That's all I do. Like, uh, five days straight. Like, ah, I still want the devil. I will do it though. Like, ah, but like, I mean, I'm like, ah. How's uh, how's your family feel 
about yeah, you right. being out here uh, the uh -huh. past two years after you got out of jail? They felt pretty cool. Like, I, I, I had a job and everything. Like, I came out here and I flossed and stuff like that. But I got stuck on this one girl, you know what I'm saying? She was supposed to be my wife, but she was like the ultimate, like, ultimate little a little, little whole hood little thing and uh, man I had a reaper robber rap, rap, I had a reaper off my grave nigga because I had a great robber shit first too and I said they ain't no kid little or, or this kid ain't worthy to have, have a graveyard that he ain't worthy really had had to handle you know what I'm saying that means saying that this OG had a kid who said that he would carry any other graveyard that he didn't know any other graveyard that he wasn't able to handle to carry on his back and rip it all day so it was like dang bro yeah so my last question to you is uh, so what advice would you give to young people that are starting blues, thinking about trying blues? What would you tell them? Um, I'll tell them to stay away from that shit, though. And it's like, it, if I'm, uh, I would say ultimately stay away from those shit. Don't ever start it. And if you do, then I'm uh, just glad to know that you're not in my hood doing that. Because you know I'm saying you're hearing me and you think that you, you see the devil because I'm the devil. And I'll be like, man, you shouldn't do any drug like that. If you're gonna do a blue, you're gonna do that stuff, you're gonna do it my way. You got to keep up with me. I'm gonna come check you up all day. I'm gonna think you're gonna rob me because I'm gonna be robbing you. But we're like, hey, we don't do that no more. We don't rob each other. We're just like, damn. Ah. Uh, blues, I was you, I was you, you know? I wouldn't do any blues around here because in my hood right here, this is my hood right here, fool. And I get down with the Mexican industry and we check it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's great advice. Thank you very much. Please stay safe. We'll talk soon, okay? Mm hmm.